Boxcaster Boxing here with the legendary Bob Aram. Welcome to Quebec. Your first time in Quebec. How's the trade in here? It's great. I love it. I mean, it's really beautiful. The air is great. The weather's great. Everything. The people are lovely. It's very nice. What do you think of the bo boxing atmosphere in Canada, let alone French Canada? Well, uh, you know, I think th that's the uh, that's the qualifying. In French Canada, there's tremendous enthusiasm. I think less so in English Canada. But the, the uh, French Canadians really are passionate about boxing, and that's great to see. I want to ask you about the fight tomorrow, Vozdik versus Adonis Superman. How do you see it playing out? I think it's a great fight. I think uh, Stevenson has had a great training camp, according to Yvonne Michel. Uh, but uh, Vozdik is trained uh, with Teddy Atlas. Uh, he's r ripped and ready. And the Ukrainians from that Olympic team uh, that won all those medals in uh, London, like Lomachenko and Usyk and Vodzik, I mean, they're terrific fighters. Should be a great, great fight. I want to ask you about Lomachenko. He fights next weekend against Jose Pedraza. What do you think about that fight? That's a tough fight for him because Pedraza has a style that could give Loma trouble, but I don't think anybody at 135 can really seriously uh, challenge uh, Loma. Loma's somebody really special. By the way, uh, he's definitely going to be here uh, coming tomorrow morning uh, to see his buddy uh, Alexander uh, Votsik. Uh, he'll be here and Usyk will be here as well. well. I'd love to talk to them if you could maybe set that up for me. That would be great. <laughs> sure, they both speak English very well. All right, well, I'm really looking forward to that. Just another question. I want to know what the di biggest difference between managing boxing, promoting boxing between now and, say, 30, 40 years ago? Well, you know, here, the, uh, you know, everything changes. I mean, the a number of outlets are, are different. Uh, the uh, uh, way you can reach the people is different. Social media has taken over everything. Uh, people get their news and information on social media. Uh, so boxing is uh, keeping up with the times now. Uh, there's a lot of boxing will be shown on streaming. Uh, a lot of boxing will be shown on linear. But uh, there, as long as there's a lot of boxing, that's good for the boxing fan. It is good for the boxing. You brought up the streaming. Obviously, you have a deal with Top Rank and ESPN+. Plus. What do you think of the deal DAZN just signed with Matchroom? I think that's good. I mean, you know, DAZN to be successful in the United States, which is the major market, has to get sports other than boxing. Uh, ESPN+, Plus has been driven to a large extent by the boxing. It's almost a million and a half subscribers now, but uh, it has other sports. It has uh, hockey, uh, professional uh, football, uh, college football, uh, basketball. Uh, you can't uh, uh, sell a streaming service based on boxing, and second-class MMA. Uh, you just can't do it. I mean, ESPN Plus uh, early next year will have uh, UFC events join. So, you know, we're looking forward for ESPN Plus uh, by the end of next year uh, to be well over 5 million subscribers, you know, reaching for the 10 million plateau. Well, thank you so much for your time and best of luck tomorrow and everything in the future. Thank you very much.